Harry Potter. Excellent! We now have our three champions. But in the end, only one will go down in history. Only one will hoist this chalice of champions, this vessel of victory. The Triwizard Cup! And by solving the equation for V equals to F times Q over M, 
you can see that u t is equal to this times this, which becomes this. And further subbing the equation for force, which is equal to rho g big h minus small h times a, here we get this equation times 2 h rho g. So now to find the height at which s is maximum, really s with respect to h, we can get 2 rho a divided by n times big h minus 2 small h. And this equation must be 0 to find the maximum s. And here we can see that 2 rho a over n is not, cannot be equal to 0 because rho is density, a is area, and mass is, m is mass. And thus we can only equate h minus 2 small h equal to 0. So finally, we get the equation of small h equals to big h is by 2. So to make sure that this point is the maximum point, so we bring the second definition in this equation, which is this squared s. After working it out, we will realize that the second derivative is actually smaller than zero. And thus, we can conclude that the distance displacement achieved is at maximum. Now, without air resistance, the variation of the horizontal distance of ejection of water with respect to various heights of the hole s equals to rho g h minus h times a over m times 2h over g which is equal to 2 rho a over m times h times h minus h and then because rho a m are all constant value so we can say that s is proportional to h times h minus h for a certain hole at certain height, rho a m are constant, and the determining factor of its distance is just this small h. So, to explore the relationship of change of s according to h, we draw up this graph by using GC. As you can take h at any value because it is a constant and it doesn't affect the value of s and we can get this graph so it's obvious to see that when h equals to zero or the big h the horizontal distance of water is at, is at its minimum value and when h equals to big h over 2 it's at its maximum value so the conclusion we obtained from part 1 can be proven by and assume that we have three holes and this is the midpoint of the bottle. This is height of the first hole and this is height of the second hole. If H1 plus H2, H2 which is equivalent to this part, so it's H1 plus H2 is equal to big H, then the horizontal distance S is the same. We can prove it by substituting H1 and H2 respectively into this equation. Then we get S1 equals to H1 times big H minus H1, which is equivalent to H2. So S1 equals to H1 times H2. And the same for S2, we can get S2 equals to H2 times H1. So S1 is actually equal to S2. So it proves our assumption here. Understand? The decision is final. <laughs>